option I, is open. Am I audible? Yeah, you are. Go ahead. Okay, so yeah, somebody, Darth was over talking. Yeah, I can't hear you. So the reason why I was bringing this up was because... Yeah, I'm not, Darth, I'm not hearing you. One, one sec, Darth. One, one, sec, one sec, Darth. Someone who you have muted is speaking. Yeah, now I was kind of wondering why Darth was ejected. All right, so you're going you're gonna, to you're tolerate this Sorry. stalking? What, one, one sec. Once, once, yeah. In this room, anyone can speak. So if he's talking, he can talk. If you're talking, okay. He so, can talk. so you're gonna, you're gonna okay. One sec, Darth. Gonna, I, okay. Darth, I will, I will, I will mute you're gonna you too. Okay. Darth, no, I give Run you. Away. You're, one, hey, 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 you, you shut up too. You'll get muted also, right? Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. I was well, now you're not coming through. Sorry, I was trying to understand Darth's objection because. It sounded like his objection was an objection to some kind of moral subjectivism, which I thought was odd because Darth is actually a moral subjectivist himself. No, why do you say that? Um, because if subjectivism means mind dependence, right, and everything that exists is dependent on God and God is a mind, then he's a subject what if subjectivism means mind internal as opposed to mind external i don't i'm not sure what you're getting at there well something there's a be something being mind dependent and something being within the mind as opposed to something that is external to minds are, don't necessarily mean the same thing right like, just, I'm just asking you to flesh out the distinct. Sure. So, mind dependent means its existence, it, it is required for the mind to exist in order for whatever thing we're talking about to exist. Now, something can, the mind, if something can be mind dependent, it, that relation can exist, and that thing could be external to the mind. At least, it's logically possible. Um, but if we define subjective as whatever, whatever it is, is it's just internal to the mind as opposed to external to the mind, then that's not exactly the same thing. But maybe you could give me an example of what you mean. Yeah. So let, let me, let me try to think of an example. Uh, well, I think I have an idea what you're talking about. So are you trying to say something like, say that there's some objectively existent thing that comes into existence when minds are in existence and goes out of existence when minds aren't in existence. You could have something that's like that and depends on minds, but is objective, right? And you're right. distinguishing right. that from actually yeah. existing inside of someone's subjectivity. Yeah. I'm not following. Maybe there will... Jack, maybe there's some like ectoplasmic goo that just for whatever reason starts to exist when minds start to exist. You'd agree the goo exists objectively, right? Well, I'm trying to understand what objective means if it's not mind dependent. Um, I think that Avi's trying to say that the best definition would be mind internal because mind dependent, there's like a sophistry pathway where you could say something uh, like... I, I, under, I understand that he's saying that there's a distinction between um, mind dependence and mind internality, right? Mm -hmm. But then when you say that something is objective when it's not mind dependent but merely... Um, mind external not mind independent but merely mind external right i'm still not following what the distinction is supposed well, in, to be in that in that instance objective is being used as a synonym i think for mind external and obviously just trying to right, say that's, that's a problem well, right but what what i'm saying is that that's not informing me as to what what the distinction between the two are you sick jack you sound like off I'm recovering from a cold. Oh, okay, okay. Um, sorry, I didn't know what you're asking for the distinction between there, but just I'll, I'll say it again, and then you tell me what is weird. He, so he's just, he's drawing the distinction between mind external and um, sorry, mind internal and uh, okay, yeah. So we're talking about something that's mind dependent in the sense that it. Um, there, let's let's see. We're talking about what are the two words we want to use? We want to use mind dependent, and we want to use mind exter uh, external, and we're saying that. Those could both be um, 
what we mean when we're saying objective. And I think Avi is arguing that the better thing to mean is mind internal, because if what we mean is just depends on a mind to exist, then you could have something that exists in the same kind of way that a tree exists um, that would be mind dependent. Right. And you could have, therefore, something that's like mind dependent, but objective. I think that's it. Exactly. Idea. Yeah. So let, let's just say that there was this hypothetical tree that was dependent on my mind to exist. So the, the second I die, the second that my mind goes and dies with me, this tree would just vanish. That's this hypothetical tree. Now, the tree, everyone would look at that tree and would have the intuition that this tree is objective see the tree, they could touch the tree, they could feel the tree. But it is also true that that tree is dependent on my mind. It is mind dependent, but it is also external to my mind. So it doesn't fully, just saying mind dependent doesn't fully capture what we mean when we say subject, the subjective objective distinction. Yeah, it's, better, it's, it's, yeah. Well, it seems like we seems don't like want to say that the tree is non-objective. I think that's the idea. Right. And if that's yeah. the case, then we'd prefer the definition of objective that's mind internal. And I think if you want a specific example of how people like actually use this weasel pathway, like sometimes you'll argue with objectivists, um, like some kind of robust realist, and you'll say something like, um, okay, well, look, if minds stop existing, does morality stop existing? And they'll say yes, and then you go for the dunk and go like, oh, okay, well, sounds subjective to me. But then they'll say, well, that doesn't necessarily mean it's subjective, right? There could be some objectively existent thing that objectively exists given that minds exist. I don't see how that's going to help Doris. Oh, well, I mean, I have no Oh, I'm not saying this is going to help. I'm not saying this is going to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but, don't think anyone's yeah, well, defending yeah. Darth, yeah. Well, here's, here's, like, here's a way Darth can maybe try to defend himself. He can say, well, if it, I mean, he's not going to do this because he's not aware of this. But if, we, if he was, he may be able to say that, well, maybe everything's dependent on God, but there may be something external to God. And so, and that is morality. Oh, he holds, doesn't hold that view? Okay. He holds to, he holds to God's esteem. That is all encompassing. That, that but wait, everything why, is within wait, God. I, I think, no one's trying to defend Darth though. I think, I think like, just to, I, just so we're all on the same page, we all, we all understand like what, like, do we agree about this um, when we're talking about objective that it's better defined as, um, uh, my uh, when we're talking about something being like mind independent we'd rather use that to mean it's not mind internal than it's like it can exist without a mind yeah that's what i'm trying to say i'm trying to say a better definition for subjective that accurately cap encompasses and captures what we mean is mind internal as opposed to mind dependent well i don't i don't necessarily have a position on that i'm just saying that i was trying to raise a kind of euthyphro type objection to Darth, right? Because what Darth was doing was saying, <clears throat> what standard are you appealing to, right? <clears throat> and presumably, he was going to call into question the objectivity of whatever standard uh, his interlocutor would invoke, right? But yeah. the question is, in virtue of what would he have and a standard that was objective that his interlocutor could not uh, avail himself of uh, given that his interlocutor was, say, not a Christian. Right. So I don't know Darth's view. I, don't, I didn't know that Darth had, had the view that everything is within God. Um, but Avi, did, it, did yeah. you come in with the intention of defending God? I feel like there's a misperception here that, or, or sorry. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not coming in with a, I'm not, I'm not coming in with a intention to defend him. I'm just saying that I'm not, I'm not a Darth defender, but I'm just saying that if Darth did, because I don't actually know that he doesn't even hold it, what view he holds with, with respect to if things are all internal to God or not. I'm just pointing out that if he had a view that not all things are internal to God, but all things could be dependent on God, then he could try to make the case that morality is just something dependent on God, but external to God. And then he could try to say that morality is quote unquote objective. 
in that sense. Are you, are you following but, me? Well, would you appreciate what Jack is doing, right? Jack's just going just like, going, hey, oh, Jack, Jack, yeah. Earth's trying to I, criticize yeah. people for having subjective morality. Right. But yeah, and it would be what's, subjective what's, if it's in the mind of God. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm tracking. Maker. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm completely... I'm completely tracking. I think, yeah, and okay. I think I've actually, t t I've, I've told you this argument. I've mentioned, I've mentioned this to you that, that the problem, it's, it's just weird when someone be say that, Oh, like, well, morality is subjective. Like, hey, yeah. How is it not subjective on your view? I mean, it's just within the mind of God. So I think I think there's just some kind of misconception that happened because he said that right after you attacked Darth. He's not defending Darth or saying this re this can rescue Darth's view. I think he's just nitpicking how we use the word subjective and just, just trying to close. Well, well, no. The, the other the other thing is that uh, it, uh, maybe not Darth, but a theist in general. If a theist in general tries to say that, well, I don't have this view that everything is within the mind of God, that there are some things that can exist. Out external to the mind of God, and morality is one of those things. Then it would be coherent for them to say morality is something they believe in, and they believe it's objective. Well, I mean, he, he has some kind of divine. He subscribes to some kind of divine command. Okay, but does divine command theory mean? I don't know. What the, I don't know the ins and outs of divine command theory. Yet. My my only question there would be: Does divine command theory entail that things are internal to the mind of God? That whatever applies to divine command theory is internal to the mind of God versus. Well, I mean, I ta I just take it that the view is that what the good is is constituted by what God wants. Okay, so if if it's if it's part and by constituted of what God wants, we mean to say it. It follows from that that somehow it's internal to the mind of God. Then it's subjective. If it doesn't, then it can be objective. I just need to know what that means. You mean what the constitution relation is? Yeah. If, if it, in other words, if something is made of the constitution of what God wants, if does it follow from that? The only question I have is: Does it follow from that? Is it entailed from that? That what? that is, is internal to the mind of God, as opposed to external to the mind of God. Um, well, I mean, it would be internal. Okay, if it's in, if it's internal, no, 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 then yeah, no, no, wait, I Avi, that was someone else speaking for Jack. Let Jack talk. That was, oh, okay. that was fucking, Sorry, that, don't, don't let one of the stupidest people in the server speak for Jack, please. Hey, man. <laughs> I don't understand why you don't treat Darth Dawkins that way. Um, so, you know, yeah, I, I don't... Some, sometimes I don't either. <laughs> like right now, for instance, he, he's blowing me up over not letting him, you, you know, steamroll in here. But, you know, it's like he has his room where he can do his shtick. If he comes in here, it's like you're in, you're just like everyone else. You don't get to overpower people. Right. Yeah, he has a bad attitude, honestly. Well, okay, but that's good. Before we go down that, because we're actually talking about something interesting. So, like, Avi, let me make sure I'm understanding you. You're saying that if the subjectivist uh, atheist or whatever is saying, like, you know, uh, morality is internal to the mind, and then Jack asks, like, well, how does that not just also apply to God? It seems like you're a subjectivist. Then a certain type of theist might be able to respond by saying, well, I don't literally think morality is internal to his mind. Sure, it depends on his mind to exist, but it exists external to his mind. Yes, So that's correct. the symmetry that's, break. Yeah. Symmetry break. Yes. So Darth, Darth for whatever reason, like I don't know what his view commits him to. He might not be able to say something like that, but that's like supposed to be the idea. Yeah, that's the idea I mean. Now, I don't know if Darth holds to that idea. Now, I have no idea on what Darth's view is in terms of the, how he's defining the subjective objective distinction if it's dependent versus internal or external or if he has a view that all things are subsumed within the mind of god it seems like he might actually have that view and then in this case he wouldn't have that pathway the, but i, I, I just the, I, there's a lot of things like i don't i feel like a theist view like that would be so confused like it wouldn't make any sense so like if you take the tradition of subjective idealists right they're going to say things are external to your mind or my mind. Just uh, get the fuck out of here. Um, this object, I'm arguing with that faggot ass or something. I'm not arguing with anybody. I'm talking about it. Oh, someone doesn't like you, Isaac. 
<laughs> um, hey, hey, look, if if little slime piece girl over there wants to come in here and defend her view, she's welcome to. Why don't you hop on mic? What do you want to say? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah bitch, I, I got the, the epic, I gotta get oh, it up on my show. Oh, the epic, bitch, I'm so uh, scared of bitch. Psychotic meltdown. Okay, so, 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 you need to calm down, sir. Calm do you, down, sir. Do you actually have some kind of an argument against something that I believe? Oh, you want to debate sometime? We can do that too, and I'll put that. Oh, well, why don't you? Why don't? Yeah, why don't you just give the argument? What is the argument against what I believe? What are you? What do you even think you're criticizing me for? Well. Uh, well, I, uh, I don't want to do it right now because I have to wait till I got my bandy cam great, on. Great, great, great. Then fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Derek. Josh. <laughs> I'll, it'll never stop. I'll always say Derek Nevada because of that name. Sorry, what are you saying? Sorry, what are you saying? Do I know this person? Uh, uh, well, it's, it's, it, yeah, you do. It's, it's Josh's girlfriend, godless, or wife, girlfriend, I don't know. But, oh, but she, yeah. she's, she's the one who releases the videos with, like, misleading titles. Wait, I have a few questions guys. for, I have a few questions for godless. Oh, so, I'm not surprised you so, do. Oh, I'm not surprised you right. do. I, Inter interesting how, sure interesting how she's in a room with two of the people she's slimed and she won't come on mic, eh? Seems I, almost like no, the I, kind I, of I, behavior I, from the people I she criticizes. Have, by the way, I don't have anything, I don't have anything against, against that. I mean, like, it seems like there's something between the two. Because I don't have I don't have anything against her. I just have a few questions about some of the videos she uploaded about me. Well, hold on. Uh, I, was trying to talk about, I don't know what she's doing, but I was trying to talk about... Um... Wait, just can I just ask my questions to her? Like, just... oh, oh, yeah, I, I'm recording. So you ask them, and we'll just have it on record, her fleeing your questions. Go for it. And then you can continue, Josh. Sorry. I don't trust I don't your ass. You won't hand over the recording when I humiliate you. What's the argument? I, I, I just... I mean, uh... I just want to ask. I just want to ask a few questions. Is that okay? What's the I'm going to go cook some sausage right now. Okay. So, so the so the the, the first question um, I had. So you uploaded two videos about me um, for debates that happened uh, with me. One with me and Shamos, and one with myself and Josh. Um, the first debate with Shamos, you said it occurred in the Ask Yourself Discord, and you said it, um, you know, that name, the trade got destroyed or something, or that I got destroyed. I just, I just was wondering what your take on that was, given that, number one, it didn't occur in the Ask Yourself Discord, it actually occurred in, it actually, on the video, it says the name of the Discord server it occurred in, which was a different Discord server, so that would be one false statement in the title yeah it's useful yeah, to read it, right reading's, always, reading's good. always good and then and then the other thing is like shamos himself actually said that i held my own in that debate so I'm, i was just really confused with the opponent i was debating seems to say i was holding my own how does how did your take i'm just does it did you your 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 take was that i was just yeah, well, anyway, I, mean, I mean that thing like mistakes like that would be expected since okay. i don't really uh i mean i watched some of the some of the, not all of the uh, hour and a half exchange with him and Jack, but other than the, uh, that, the... Uh, well, the this wasn't Avi, with Jack. This I'm answering Jack. your question, sir. I'm answering your question, sir. <laughs> the Dr. Avi and the other Dr. Avi and uh, Ask Yourself videos that I upload to my channel, I don't even watch them. I just, like, write inflammatory titles and descriptions, so I would expect there to be inaccuracies like that dumbass. Dumb Oh no no no! Well, if you're if you're if you're gonna just concede, no no, that's fine. We've got what we need. We can upload that on the internet. We've got okay, a concession okay. that she doesn't care about accuracy. That's fine. That's okay, fine. you okay. can go eat your sausage. Wait, wait. I, and I I'll also say, oh, yeah. well, well, while we're here correcting this, right? You put up this video saying that I interact dishonestly with Jack. Now I don't know. He's in the room right now. I don't know if he holds that view. But the point that you're claiming I was dishonest about, right? Which is. Um, I was, what was I saying about particularism? I was making some I'm false, wait a second, wait a second, I'm trying to, breakfast. trying to speak I'm here. Okay, I'll use the priority button. button. Right, okay, yeah, yep, yep, you can flee all you want, that's fine. Right, so just to, to correct that, right, so we were having some kind of debate about, um, name the trait, and then it turned into a debate about particularism, and I was making a bad argument against particularism. I was saying something like, um, particularism can justify anything and generalism can't right? Or my specific brand of generalism. Can't, I don't remember what exactly was on my mind, but the point is, um, you say I'm being dishonest, right? I could have just been confused. And one thing that speaks to me being honest is the fact that once I understood that, once that was spelled out to me, what I was doing wrong there, I published a correction. I also apologized to Jack, 
right? So that's all public. That correction is literally visible. In fact, I'll bring it up on screen. I'll bring it up on screen right now for this recording. It's literally in the announcements, right? Or in the uh, AY correction section. Um, I reject particularism because it could justify anything. That's the quotation. Context, debate with Jack Angstreich, uh, reason for rejection, proof by contradiction. Generalism can also justify anything, and I accept generalism. And the credit for the correction goes to Jack, right? So yeah, the claim that I'm being dishonest there seems pretty unfounded. I'll admit an error if I'm shown an error. And um, there's also some kind of claim that name the trait is destroyed. Now, I mean, Jack can speak up if he wants. I don't think his claim is that the argument is unsound. I think that unless unless I'm incorrect, what we've reached after you know talking about this a few times is that a particularist is going to have an easy time giving an answer that satisfies themselves if they have uh, genuinely anti-vegan uh, views. Whether they can give an answer that's going to satisfy others is, you know, that's still, there's no reason to think they could do that better than anyone else. And the idea is just that if you have a particularist who has genuinely anti-vegan views and you have a generalist who has gen, uh, genuinely anti-vegan views, the particularist can easily answer name the trait to their own satisfaction, not to the satisfaction of others necessarily. The generalist, even though their views are genuinely anti-vegan, because they have to construct their uh, view in terms of principles, is still likely to struggle uh, finding a principle set that can, you know, act as like a good answer to name the trait. So unless unless you think, in fact, I'll just ask Jack, do you think there's something, anything I said there is wrong about this characterization of our uh, history on this issue? Is there anything you'd like to add? Um, not offhand. Okay. Is, is there anything that seems incorrect about that? Just because I'm getting it on record right now. I don't think so. Okay. All right. Uh, and then I guess Godless fled, but there's, you know, other questions we'd love to ask. Um, but look, if, uh, if bottom line... Well, I'll, to, I'll... Be, to be fair, to be fair, I don't, I kind of doubt that she was afraid. She probably really was going to breakfast. I, I'm... Not... <laughs> I, I can't I can't prove that I'm semi saying it to troll her uh, it's because yeah. she says those kind of things about us I, I'm really yeah. just chirping her to see if she comes back on mic but yeah I won't I won't stand necessarily by the claim that she's fleeing um, and she's welcome to come debate if she wants to but uh, Avi do you have anything else you want to he probably does oh sorry he probably does want to well she's welcome to I mean the server's open well the only other thing I wanted to say was that um, the other upload was you cut sorry, out. You the cut other, out. Sorry, the other upload was an upload about me debating Josh, um, and we went into some kind of thing where I got actually, I'll admit, I got mentally triangulate, triangulate on moral realism uh, versus subjectivism. Yeah, I can remember and, after yeah, that remember, debate, yeah, you came that. by the server and you're all <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck just happened? Um, but but the title of the video says it was about veganism, and that just baffles me. Like this, we we weren't, we weren't debating about veganism at all. Yeah, well, it's just yeah, a well, false claim, she, right? So basically, she's just uploading hit piece kind of slime pieces. Luckily, she doesn't have much of an audience. I'd I'd have to make like videos and shit about this if she actually was doing this to an audience, because it would be like it would give a lot of people false impressions. But the point is, she admits her videos aren't accurately titled. She admits she doesn't even watch a lot of her videos. So you know, anything on that channel, take with a grain of salt. And if I ever see anyone citing anything from that channel, I'm going to refer them to this video. Is there anything else you want to say before we go back to the God and mind independent stuff? Oh, could you? Uh, could you... Uh, no, wait, hold on. No, um, the only thing is I am at work, so I may not be able to talk all the time. But um, do you, I just want to make sure you, Isaac, understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, About the mind triangle thing? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Got you no, on really not the mind oh, triangle. Sorry. No, I'm talking, no, the topic we were talking about before. Um, the pathway that some yeah, uh, specific yeah, type I'll, of theist I'll, can take. I'll, I'll, I'll try to repeat to you what you're what saying, and you're you tell saying. me if I'm understanding you. So it sounds like what you're saying is that if um, someone uses the criticism Jack uses against a theist, right? And this isn't, maybe Darth doesn't have access to this, whatever. It's not Darth specific. If someone says to the theist, when the theist is trying to, you know, criticize the atheist for having a subjective morality, um, well, look, you know, in, in what sense is their morality subjective, but yours isn't? You seem to think that things are right or wrong uh, in, in virtue of what God thinks, right? Um, the theist might be able to offer a symmetry breaker where they say something like, well, look, the atheist is saying 
that morality is actually mind internal. I'm not taking the view that morality is internal to the mind of God. I still think that it's objective. It just depends on his mind. And if someone tries to say that's subjective, then the theist could give a reductio and say, if there's a tree that comes into existence, given that minds exist, do we actually want to say that that tree is subjective? It seems like the tree still exists objectively. It just depends on mind. So what we really mean when we say a word like subjective, objective, we seem to be referring to the mind internality um, externality distinction, not the mind dependence independence. Um, what do we want? Okay, okay. Really? okay. So that, I'm convinced. That yes, that that you you've accurately captured what I'm trying to say. I do have to get back to work now, so I may or may not be able. To... Yeah, and uh, and okay. I mean, there's Josh was before that whole shtick, which like, sorry to disrespect your girlfriend, dude. I like, I don't, I really hate being that guy. It's just she said a lot of shit. But you know, you you were trying to say some stuff. Did you still want to say that about how that view is just going to turn into like? crazy confusion or something is josh oh, I'll, talk about I'll talk about it another time okay no worries uh, can someone answer my question about utilitarianism yeah we'll go we'll go back to that jack did you did you have anything else you want to say on the the god stuff before we go back um well see i think i don't really think there's a symmetry breaker because it just I, I'm not see, I'm not really seeing where there's if I say whatever is good is what my uncle Charlie desires and Darth says whatever is good is what God desires where where's the asymmetry I think there has to be more specificity for there to be an asymmetry so if what's being said is that um, like on the atheist conception, the good is mind internal and uh, the theist view is supposed to have the same problem that the theist could say, no, it, it is mind external. Uh, it, it depends on a mind. It's, it's um, mind external, though. So it wouldn't it would it would have the asymmetry of the on the atheist view. It's mind internal yeah, but on the theist I'm, view external. Yeah, but I I'm trying to flesh that out. Right. So if Darth says. The good is whatever God desires, right? And his interlocutor says, the good is whatever my Uncle Charlie desires. In virtue, what is it that Darth can appeal to that could allow him, that, that his interlocutor couldn't avail himself of? At, at that stage, I don't think anything. I think what has to happen is that it has to be that the atheist is actually saying that the uh, morality is mind internal so they can both be saying it's mind dependent right but if the atheist is saying it's mind internal and the theist is saying it's mind external then they could use that as a symmetry breaker and say that they take it to be you know objective because it's mind external but i yeah, but... I, I think that requires them to specify more things i think from what you've said it's not like clear that that pathway is you know open we need to know more about the views yeah okay that's fair enough okay um all right so the other guy wants to debate